Welcome back, everybody, to the picks. Week eight. I'm JT, alongside of my host, Earl, Frank, so you're missing cut, uh, prior obligations. We've got uh, him in another studio. We'll get to him in a minute. They're on standby. Frank last week with a 10-3 and record finished first by himself. Uh, Earl, cut, myself, and the fans each finished 9-4. and four. Um, Frank had a good week. He picked the Colts. Um, some of the down All the picks. Is, yeah, the Seahawks, who would have thought? The Bengals. They, yeah, the Bengals. The Bengals were another big one, too, against the Ravens. Uh, he was the only one to take the Bengals. So, Frank, uh, congratulations on that week last week. Thank you. Job, thank, you. Thank, uh, you thank you. So, if you check out our overall records, uh, cuts still in first, 77 and 30. Earl's behind two games, 75 wins. Uh, I'm in third. I have 71 wins. The fans have 70. And Frank has 66 wins. Um, and then last week. Participated? Uh, five fans participated, but nobody left the comments. So, one, I appreciate we, we, we got more fans. I know this is a starter program. But uh, if you leave, if you fill out the bracket on Instagram, leave a little emoji. If you, It's in the description of the video on YouTube. So it's in the bio on Instagram, description on YouTube. Drop a comment. We'll give you a shout-out if you want um, for filling out those texts. We really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we really appreciate all the support we can get. Uh, that helps us. We had five people, which that odd number, there's no ties. Uh, and, you know, some of the big upsets for the fans are the Giants and the Bengals, of course. You know, they take the Ravens and they take the Panthers. Um, so it's week eight on the board. Starting off with Packers Cardinals. We're going to send it over now to our other studio in Jersey uh, with the other JT. So, JT. Thanks, Jake. Hey, welcome to uh, a different location, clearly. Uh, I'm the other Jake Taylor, and this is Cut. Um, prior engagement, so we're, we're still coming together so we can bring you the pick before anybody else. Uh, how are we doing today? Uh, I'm doing all right. I'm fresh out of the shower, feeling squeaky clean. I, I like that I have a two-game lead right now. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Yeah, yeah, it didn't help last week that Earl, you know, was paying attention and, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, he plugged me. I got a free week out of it. He copied your homework. Yeah. Um, See, as the board blank, you're still in first place with 77 wins, like we discussed. And uh, whenever you're ready, uh, you can start your picks. All right. Uh, first game of the week. This is probably going to be the best game, probably the best game of the year, to be honest. Like, this is huge. This is probably going to be what the NFC Championship game looks like. Uh, Green Bay has got some COVID issues. So I'm going to go Arizona. I think I'm going to ride them the rest of the year. Uh, next game, I got Atlanta over the, over the Panthers. <laughs> Uh, Miami got blown the fuck out by Buffalo last time, and I think that might happen again. So I'm going to go uh, Buffalo there. Uh, Chicago didn't look great against Tampa, but that's like the you know reigning Super Bowl champ over there. But I like San Francisco in this game. Uh, Pittsburgh and Cleveland divisional matchup. I'm going to go with Cleveland. Uh, this is probably a weird pick. Uh, haven't had much trust in Detroit all year. They had a pretty decent first half against the Rams last week. I'm going to go Detroit over Philly. Um, next one, Tennessee over Indy. They crushed the Chiefs. They're, they're rolling pretty heavy right now ever since their, that loss a few weeks back. Uh, Cincinnati over the Jets. I don't know if the Jets will win another game. Having some quarterback issues there anyways. Uh, Rams are with, with Flacco. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know if he's going to start. Right. Uh, they're, they're rookies out for a month. So this one, uh, the Patriots are five and a half point underdogs. I think they'll cover the spread, but I think they're going to lose. So I'm going to take the Chargers there. Uh, I'm going to take Seattle over Jacksonville. I don't know if Russ is coming back, but I don't think Jacksonville has the capabilities to beat that defense uh i'm gonna take washington over denver bounce back week for them uh tampa bay over new orleans even though the divisional game might be pretty decent um this one was a tough one for me but i think dallas has the better squad so i'm gonna go with dallas there 
And then the Monday night game, I'm going to go Chiefs over the Giants. I think it's going to be a fucking blowout. Saquon's not back yet. They're not playing very good. Kansas City got, you know, whooped the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to go 32 to 3. Low scoring for the Giants. Yes, extremely. <clears throat> As you can see here during the Patriots Chargers game, Cuts picking with his uh, mind, so his heart. I like the Chargers a lot better than I like uh, New England this week. I just, we had a great game last week, but, you know, this is not the Jets. Will the other JT do it? Well, we'll find out when we send it back to the studio. Cut, do you have anything else that you want to say uh, to the viewers of the pick before you leave? Uh, big win last week for the Patriots. Fuck the Jets. Uh, we're looking all right. Tough week, t- tough matchup this week. I think we covered the spread, though. All right. Sounds good. Well, uh, getting confirmation, we're going to send it back to the other studio with the other Jake Taylor uh, signing out. Later, guys. And we're back live. Um, <clears throat> so we just got cuts picks from the studio in Jersey. I know it looks a lot like this, and that guy looks a lot like me, but I'm much uglier. Earl. You ready to make your picks? Let's do it. All right. Go ahead. Uh, pretty disgusted with myself last week. Uh, followed right behind Cut and in doing so, made no ground on him. So let's make some changes this week and get his ass. Uh, I got the cards over the Packers. Sorry, JT. Um, I just, even with some of the injuries and people not playing for the cards, there's just too much firepower there. Devontae Adams is out. The Packers, I just, I don't see him being able to keep up. I'm going to take the Panthers over the Falcons. Uh, Panthers have been on a little bit of a slip, um, but I do like their defense, um, and I think Sam Darnold can get it done against Atlanta. Um, Bills over Dolphins, I think that's going to be a big old blowout. Um, I actually like the Bears over the 49ers. Um, The 49ers just cannot move the ball, and that Chicago defense is still really good. Um, And I think Justin Fields gets his uh, second win on the season. I'm going to take the Steelers over the Browns. Uh, Baker Mayfield coming back. Is he 100%? I don't know. Um, They haven't looked real great all season. I think the Steelers need this win. There's a lot of bad blood between them. You know, Mason Rudolph getting smacked on the head with a helmet. Um, I think, and then getting knocked out in the postseason, Steelers are going to be hungry. Um, I am going to pick the Lions over the Eagles. I think if they were to get a win, This might be their only chance other than Atlanta. Sorry, Frank. Um, The defense played inspired last week against the Rams. I was super happy with how they played. Um, Yeah, so Lions. Um, Titans over the Colts. Derrick Henry needs 131 rushing yards to get 1,000 yards at week eight, so essentially halfway through the season on his way to 2,000 yards. He's pretty damn close. Bengals over Jets, big. Uh, Rams over Texans, big. Uh, I'm going with the Chargers over the Pats here, only because the Chargers are the home team. It's a long flight for the Patriots. Um, the Jaguars have looked, or the Chargers have looked pretty good, um, and they're they're a pretty high potent offense. It'll be a good game. Uh, Seahawks over the Jags. Uh, yeah, that's pretty, pretty. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to take the Washington Football Team over the Broncos. The Broncos have not looked good lately. Uh, Tyler Haneke playing his ass off. <clears throat> uh, Bucks over Saints. I'm not really sure this one's going to be very close. Jameis Winston is kind of the middle of the road, and Tom Brady's lighting it up. Cowboys over Vikings. Um, yeah, I'm not sure this one's going to be real close. I think the Vikings kind of hang in there till late, and the Cowboys pull it out. Um, and I got the Chiefs over the Giants, 31 to 24. 31 to 24, you said? Yep. All right. Pretty good picks. Like what you're saying. We'll march right into me. Uh, I'm going to do the Packers game last because it means the most to me. Starting with the Panthers, Falcons. Falcons have been getting it together, but I agree with Earl here. I think the Panthers get it done. Uh, Dolphins, Bills. I think the Bills is probably going to be one of the lock picks of the week for all of us. 49ers and Bears. They've been going back and forth. Every time I put faith in the 49ers, they lose. I'm going to have to go to the Bears this time. I think uh, you saying not being able to move the ball, Kittle's still out, and the Bears do have all that pressure, and Garoppolo's not the fastest quarterback. Uh, Steelers and Browns, um, 
I think we lost her over a second, but that's okay. Steelers and Browns. Um, no, I'm still here. A, a lot of bad blood there, like Earl was saying. Uh, I'm also going to go with the Steelers here. Um, just because it's a must win for the Steelers. They have to win this uh, matchup versus the Browns if they want to try to make the playoffs. Eagles, Lions. Lions played very good defense last week. You know, it was old quarterback versus old quarterback. Uh, you know, you felt bad for him. You kind of wanted them to pull the upset against the Rams. I love Matt Stafford. I love his professionalism. But the Lions showed a lot of heart. Uh, they threw the kitchen sink at him. It was like it was the last game of the year, Brett. Everybody knows now. Lions did a tremendous job last week, but, you know, the Rams are still a powerhouse. Uh, Titans, of course. Uh, the Colts have been playing good offense, um, but Derek Henry, uh, Mark Henry, no, Derek Henry is the fucking answer. Bengals, Jets. Um, the Jets probably won't win another game for at least three or four more weeks. Uh, their starter's out for a month. They picked up Joe Flacco. Who even knows if, he, if he's going to be able to uh, play this week? Rams, big over Texans. Uh, Chargers over Pats, uh, just because they're just a better squad. Seahawks, Jags. Now, I picked the Jaguars getting their first win of the season over in London. I've actually got the Jags with an upset. The Seahawks with Geno haven't been playing very good. The Jaguars coming off that bye week. I think that extra week of prep might help them out. Washington football team versus the Broncos. The Broncos, you know, they didn't really have a chance this year, and we all see now why. Bucks and Saints. Uh, this isn't like uh, this isn't like the Rams Lions matchup last week with Goff and Brady um, because they weren't traded for each other. But Winston still has something to prove. But the Buccaneers are just gonna keep on rolling down the line, man. Uh, Cowboys big over the Vikings. I think they beat them by two scores. Uh, I think they beat the spread for sure. And G-Men versus Chiefs. Um, man, Kansas City has looked. So terrible this whole year. Patrick Mahomes has been underperforming. Uh, they've got no defense, and they're riddled with injuries right now. But I think the Chiefs come out. They get it done. I'm going to go 38-17, to 17, Chiefs. Um, Packers Cardinals. Aaron Rodgers without Devontae Adams is 6-0. and oh. Now, we're also missing uh, Valdez Scandling, which is another big-time receiver. But Aaron Rodgers can literally throw the ball to anybody. Where there's a will, there's Aaron Rodgers, okay? Picking with your heart all you can. Look, man, I miss my dude, Devontae, okay? I'm, I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him all week. I'm going to miss him all tomorrow night on Thursday night. But I think the Packers, they show why they're the team to lose in the NFC Championship game by beating these Cardinals, okay? And those are my picks. I like your Jags pick. <laughs> yeah. That extra week of prep, man. All right, Frank. All right. Are we ready? I'm ready. We're ready for these last place picks. Hey, man, you got to start somewhere. We do. Started from the bottom. Maybe I'll get there at some point by the end of the season. Um, <laughs> Packers, Cardinals. Go Pack Go. I never bet against Aaron Rodgers. Uh, and I think, I mean, Cardinals aren't aren't going to go undefeated the rest of the season. Um, I think this is a good opportunity uh, for a loss right here. Um, Carolina, Atlanta. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think I should go Panthers. <laughs> That's a garbage game. Um, Bills are going to dominate the Dolphins. I wonder in like real world. I feel like a, a Buffalo would destroy a dolphin. I'm not sure. Or a dolphin would. Um, San Francisco, uh, Chicago, I'm going 49ers here. Justin Fields is just right now not the guy, but Ohio State doesn't ever really uh, produce too many great quarterbacks. Um, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. This is a must win for Pittsburgh, but I got to go to the Browns on this one. I just – I don't know. Uh, what is it? Chubb is back. So, uh, Eagles, Detroit. Oh, geez. Um, well, we know that I've been picking the Lions except last week, and they've let me down. But I think they, uh, I think the Lions make me right this week. 
Uh, so I am going Lions. Whoa. Uh, I, can't, I can't go Eagles. I think Jalen Hurts is not the guy. Um, I think the Eagles royally screwed up letting Wentz walk. Um, but, hey, you know what I mean? Like, call me one of them Wentz boys. Um, it's walk it to them. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going Lions. Uh, and then that brings us to the Colts-Tennessee game. I'm going Colts. I think Wentz is on a roll. I know it's kind of a weird stat, and it, it doesn't seem like it's anything to, to root for. But uh, as we've been – a couple pictures we've been shared in group chats, um, Wentz has tied uh, Peyton Manning for most uh, – for two-plus touchdowns um, consecutive games without an interception, and that is four. For the in Colts history, uh, I think Wentz has also thrown um, attempted the most pass attempts, uh, and I think he's passed Peyton Manning's record for the Colts. Uh, I think Wentz is coming back. This is that's. I also would like to see the same criticism Wentz got when we would argue uh, the supporting cast around last year with Patrick Mahomes, but that's a different conversation for another day. Bengals, Jets, Bengals are winning. Jets are the Jets. They've never been good. Um, not since butt fumble. Uh, Got to go Rams over Houston. Uh, I, I like, I mean, I like Herbert and I like, you know what? I'm going pay Pats on this one. I think Pats pull it out. Mac Jones and Bill him. gets it done. I think he gets it done. Uh I'm going Seattle over Jacksonville. Uh, I have constantly been picking Denver and they've been screwing me over, but I don't know. I like Broncos. I think Jerry Judy comes back or maybe next week, but I'm going Denver again. Don't let me down. Uh, the game was amazing. Super hot last week. Uh, I was sweating cause it had just rained. It was like, felt like it was almost 90 degrees cause of the humidity. Uh, Tom Brady was going to give uh, Mike Evans was going to give me Tom Brady 600th ball, but I was nice enough to let it go to someone else. Nice, um, Cause man. you know, I'm a charitable guy. He's a uh, so guy. Obviously I'm going, I'm, I try, you know? Um, so bucks winning that one. This pains me to do, uh, but I am going to go Cowboys over the Vikings. Oh, I hate that. Um, and I think the final uh, – oh, that's not the final score yet. Um, and then we're going to go oof, Giants versus Chiefs again. Where's the criticism for Patrick Mahomes? All we hear is we well, have a supporting cast. Do we give that same excuse to other quarterbacks in this league? I don't know if we do, but I am going to pick the Chiefs because um, the Giants are just garbage. I mean, most of New York is garbage in general. Uh, and I think the Chiefs are going to win it by a score of 31 to 20. Hey, the Giants won last week. Make sure you picked them. Yeah. Big surprise over the Panthers. Um, I want to say I would have to, you know, chronologically go back to our previous show. This might be the very first week in the history of the picks. I know we've only been around for a year and a half. Uh, that the Lions are a lock team. Everybody, everybody picked the Lions. And we got Frank. We got got Frank. That tells you something, you know? You know, cut down here can pick with his mind and not his heart by picking the Chargers. But me, I just couldn't do it, man. Fucking Aaron Rodgers. I don't know. The Packers are just – that's hard. Like, with the – the Eagles are rebuild mode. Jalen's not the guy. Pats are still learning with, you know, a brand-new quarterback. You can't bet against Aaron Rodgers. So, it's not like you're picking with your heart completely. The road to you the are- Super Bowl goes through Green Bay, literally. You just beat them in the NFC Championship. That's all you do, man. So you got to go through us in the NFC Championship if you want to make it a big game. <laughs> if you want to make it a Super Bowl. It's pretty great. I give my hopes up. I'm like, I'm like, right in that. I'm, I'm so high there. And then every year, it's the same fucking story. How many trips ended with a Brett, Par- Brett Favre pick six? Uh, at least two that I can remember. And then w- at least one for the Vikings as well. Yeah, my favorite Packers Eagles moments moment was uh, fourth and twenty six. Freddie Mitchell. Mm. <laughs> Eagles, Eagles went on to tie the game. Then uh, Brett Favre threw an interception to Brian Dawkins, set up David Akers for the game winning field goal. Yeah. You now, Frank, at at one point of my long life, 
uh, it was Eagles Patriots in the Super Bowl. It and was. I was at a little Super Bowl party with Earl. And we had a mud bowl out back. We had to bring spare clothes. And then Tom Brady beat the dog shit out of Donovan McNabb and TL, man. It was crazy. It was crazy. Um, I did want to – I told everybody I would be bringing the Matt Stafford Carson Wentz stats today. Oh, uh, yes. I, um, I, just did, I just did yards, completion percentage, and touchdowns um, okay. and interceptions. Um, so Carson Wentz has 1,697 passing yards, 64% completion percentage with 11 touchdowns and one interception. Matt Stafford has 2,172 passing yards with a 64% completion percentage with 19 touchdowns and three picks. So I know Carson Wentz sat out a game or something for injury, but, uh, Stafford's been lighting it up and, uh, yeah, and he's in Cooper Cup's having a historical season because of it. Yeah. yeah, he's basically carried my fantasy team. If you had Cooper Cup for no reason, you, it's finally paying off. Mm-hmm. He's Matt Stafford's I, go-to guy. I can't, I can't hate on Matt Stafford. You know, he is my fantasy quarterback. He's a good um, guy. He's humble. And then uh, so seeing what he did with the Lions' defense, talking to them the other. Uh, the video you shared from Twitter. I mean, I dude. like Matt Stafford. He's a good that dude. Me, that hit me right in the heart, dude. I'm a Packers fan, but man, dude, that hit me right in the heart, man. Right in the field. He, he Stafford's balling. I can't deny that. Um, but I think I'm not saying Carson's going to finish the season with better stats. I did say that early on, uh, but I I do think Carson leads the Colts to the playoffs, and I I really think this is his year where he's going to show everybody that it wasn't him, it was Philly. It was Philly. Oh, that, I, I that agree. Fucking... Yeah, Philly had it together for one year, and then it all fell apart. He yeah, had one gone. statistically bad season, and that was last year, and they tossed him to the side. So, Yep, for better or for worse. But we'll have to watch the rest of the season to find out. But again, everybody, uh, in the bio on Instagram, you'll find the link to week eight, the picks, the fan picks down in the description on youtube you'll also find the link just click on it fill it out leave me a comment you'll get a shout out uh thanks for everybody who filled it out last week we super appreciate it um you guys got anything to say before we wrap it up go blue go blue big game at east lansing noon eastern time big brother versus little brother man let's kick some ass i have nothing to say about penn state (laughs) all right we'll see you guys thanks for <clears throat> yeah, man, we got to take one game at a time. But thanks for watching the picks, everybody. Uh, I'm JT. That's Earl. This is Frank. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Go Blue. Peace.